Welcome students, we are expected to evaluate integral 0 to pi over 2 ln cos x dx. Now, there are actually uh, existing solution for this question. And the approach that I would be following in this video would be totally different from the approach that that particular video has followed. So in this case, I would clearly give you the rules that are governing the algorithm that I would be implementing. So having mentioned that, without any further delay, let us start. Now to evaluate this particular question, foremost what I wish to do is I would like to consider the integral 0 to pi over 2 ln sine 2x dx. Now you will know why am I considering this integral within a few minutes. Now. I would like to evaluate this. So to start off, what I wish to do is I would like to substitute 2x to be equal to t, then differentiating both sides, we get differential of 2x is going to be 2 times dx, differential of dt, uh, t is going to be dt. So from here I can state dx to be equal to dt over 2. So this integral is now rewritten as ln of, in place of 2x, I need to place t. In place of dx, it's going to be dt over 2. I will place this 2 over here. Now we will have to perform the change of limits, right? So when x is equal to 0, we get t is equal to 0. When x is equal to pi over 2, we get t is equal to pi. So this is going to be integral 0 to pi. Now there is a property in definite integrals which I would be mentioning here. It's very important property. right? So you can use this property to solve many questions which are otherwise impossible to solve. So that property is integral 0 to 2a. If you have a uh, integral of this type, this could be split into integral 0 to a f of x dx positive integral 0 to a f of 2a negative x times dx. So remember this property. So using this property, I would first rewrite this. Hence, integral 0 to pi ln sin t dt can be rewritten. Of course, there is a half there. I'm not using the half as of now. I just want to implement this property to this integral. So this is equal to, now 2a becomes a. So pi would become pi over 2. So 0 to pi over 2. Function remains same, f of x dx positive integral 0 to pi over 2. So in this case, this is going to be f of 2a. 2a specifies this limit that we have here. So this is going to be pi negative x times dx. So if I were to use this, we would now have this is equal to integral 0 to pi over 2. f of x is nothing but our given, inter, uh, given integrand. So this is going to be f of x, right? But in this case, it's f of t, right? So it's going to be ln of sine t dt positive integral 0 to pi over 2 f of pi minus x dx. So this is going to be f of pi minus t dt. So this is going to be ln of sine. So we got the sine there. So let me write that in this fashion. Ln sine of pi negative t times dt. Now what is sine of pi negative t? Uh, we know that sine of pi negative t is nothing but sine t. So I would be using this result over here. So this is going to be equal to integral 0 to pi over 2 ln sine t dt positive integral 0 to pi over 2 ln sine t dt. I can add these two to give 2 times integral 0 to pi over 2 ln sine t dt. Right? So this is for the quantity that we have got. So 
I would take this quantity, if I were to take this as say 2, hence I can rewrite 2 to be as, this is equal to 1 over 2 times in place of integral 0 to pi ln sin t dt. I would be substituting this result. So this is going to be 2 times integral 0 to pi over 2 ln of sin t times dt. So clearly 2, 2 gets cancelled giving me integral 0 to pi over 2 ln of sin t dt. Now this is a very important result. So what did I achieve here? I started with this integral and I have reached here. So if I were to take this as 1 and if I were to take this as 3 from 1 and 3 we observe that what do we observe? Integral 0 to pi over 2 ln of sin 2x dx is equal to integral 0 to pi over 2. Now ln t sin t dt. Now by the property of integral I can write this as ln sin x dx. So variable can be changed. So this is the result I've got. Okay, so having got this result now what I wish to do is, I would like to start off like this. Let i be equal to integral 0 to pi over 2. So I'm starting from this side. Ln sin x dx. Now I wish to use a very important property. Another important property. We know that integral a to b f of x dx. This is also a very powerful property. Is equal to integral a to b f of a positive b negative x times dx. You can use this property to solve many questions in integrals. So this is what I've got. I'm, I would be using this property over here. So if I were to use this property, first I need to find a positive b negative x. So it's going to be 0 positive pi over 2 minus x. So this is equal to integral 0 to pi over 2 ln sine of 0 positive pi over 2. That's pi over 2 negative x times dx. But what is sine of pi over 2 negative x? That is nothing but cos x, right? We know this. So, this is going to be equal to integral 0 to pi over 2 ln of cos x dx. You see that how this property has allowed us to get back everything in track. So, this is nothing but the original question. So, now we have to solve this original question. So, we started with i and we have ended up with this quantity 0 to pi over 2 ln of cos x dx. So this is equal to i. Now if I were to take this as 4, if I were to take this as 5, adding 4 with 5, this would give us 2 times i is equal to integral 0 to pi over 2 ln sin x dx positive integral 0 to pi over 2 ln cos x dx. I can rewrite this as 0 to pi over 2 ln sin x positive ln cos x times dx. Now I know a property. What is that? ln a positive ln b is equal to ln ab. Right? So by this property I can rewrite this as 0 to pi over 2 ln of sin x cos x times dx. Now let me multiply this by 2 and I will divide this by 2. So this is going to be integral 0 to pi over 2 ln 2 times sin x cos x. 2 times sin x cos x is nothing but ln of sin 2x. Right? This is the value that we have got. Now this has to be divided by 2. But there is a property. What is the property? Since ln of a over b is equal to ln a negative ln b I can rewrite this as integral 0 to pi over 2 ln of sin 2x is all dx. dx is there. That's important. dx negative integral 0 to pi over 2 ln of 2 times dx. But what is this? What is this? So yeah, this is equal to this. Right? This is equal to this. So this is equal to integral 0 to pi over 2 ln of sin x dx negative 0 to pi over 2 ln 2 dx. But what is this? What is this? 
we started here let i be equal to this so this is nothing but equal to i negative you integrate this ln 2 is a constant take it out i get x 0 to pi over 2 now i can push this i to the left so there is already what do i have here i got a 2i here so i push this i i get 2i negative i okay i'm pushing this i so this is going to be i 2i negative i is i negative ln 2 of substitute the upper limit pi over 2 substitute the lower limit 0 so what is this this is nothing but negative pi over 2 ln 2 so this is the solution so what is the final conclusion the final conclusion is from all of this we can clearly see the following what is that integral 0 to pi over 2 ln cos x dx is equal to integral 0 to pi over 2 uh, ln sin x ln sin x dx which is equal to integral 0 to pi over 2 ln sin 2x dx which is equal to negative pi over 2 ln 2. So this is a very important result. Thank you students. Enjoy your day.